everyone welcome to coding stunts in today's video i am going to discuss very important topic that is six software vulnerabilities in cyber security software vulnerabilities are weaknesses or flaws in computer software that can be exploited by attackers to compromise the security of a system or application we are going to discuss six common type of software vulnerabilities in cyber security number one buffer overflow Buffer overflow occurs when a program writes more data into a buffer that is a temporary data storage than it can hold leading to the overwriting of adjacent memory attackers can exploit this vulnerability to execute malicious code potentially gaining control on the system number 2 sql injection SQL injection is a technique where an attacker inject malicious SQL code into user inputs such as forms on a website if the application does not properly validate and sanitize input data the attacker can manipulate the database queries potentially gaining unauthorized access to or manip- manipulation of the database number 3 cross site scripting that is xss XSS vulnerabilities allow attackers to inject malicious scripts into our web pages viewed by other users. These scripts can steal session cookies, redirect users to malicious websites, or perform other malicious actions on behalf of the victim. Number 4, cross-site request forgery. CSRF. CSRF attack tricks a user into executing unwanted actions on a website where they are authenticated. An attacker can craft a malicious request that when executed by a logged in user can lead to actions such as changing passwords, making unauthorized transactions or modifying settings. Number 5, remote code execution that is RCE. RCE vulnerabilities allow an attacker to execute arbitrary code on a target system or application. If an attacker can exploit this vulnerability, they can gain full control on the system, often with elevated privileges. Number 6, privilege acceleration. Privilege acceleration vulnerabilities occur when an attacker gains higher levels of access or privileges than originally intended. This can happen due to misconfigured permissions or flaws in the software. Once an attacker has accelerated their privileges, they can perform actions that were otherwise restricted. To mitigate these vulnerabilities, organizations and developers should follow security best practices such as regular software patching, input validation, secure coding practices and penetration testing. Additionally, security tools like firewalls, intrusion detection systems, and vulnerability scanners can help identify and protect against these types of vulnerabilities. So I hope you have gained some information and knowledge out of this video. If you have any queries, please put it in the comment section below for me to help you out. Thanks for watching and if you are new to this channel, do not forget to subscribe and press the notification bell so you will receive the notification of my latest uploads. Thank you and see you in the next video.